Hi guys, welcome back. So today is the release day of the Age of Empires 2 Return of Rome DLC and I'd like to thank World's Edge for providing me with a key to get this build order ready for you in time for release. So this is a Roman's 17 Pop Scout build, which is for the Age of Empires 2 Civ, not the Age of Empires 1 Civ. So we're looking at 17 Pop Scouts and it's basically just an adaptation of the uh, new meta or the current meta 18 Pop Scouts build for, for any Civ. Uh, if you're not sure about that one, do check it out. It's quite a good build, um, and I do have a uh, video for that on the channel. So, um, usual start: uh, make your two houses, get six on sheep, uh, and then villager number seven, so pop eight, is going to lure the first elephant. Uh, so, yeah, quite excited to see what uh, sort of things we can do with the Romans. I'm looking forward to them coming to the ranked ladder. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think of the Romans so far from what you've seen. And uh, there's obviously been a lot of discussion about how overpowered the uh, Centurion is as a cavalry unit. Uh, but I do have a video for that as well, just sort of deep diving into just how um, overpowered it, it may or may not be. So do check that one out. So now we've got our seven on food, we're sending two over to wood uh, with a lumber camp. And there we go, and we're pushing all of our deer in as well. We want to get all three deer in, so we want to make sure we've got all that. Uh, Juicy meaty goodness uh, stored in our stores. We are, we are going to need those because of the uh, uh, increased gather rate from Hunt. Uh, plus, it's free food. Right? Uh, who's going to turn down free food? Not me. Absolutely. So now we've got the two on wood. We're going to send another two onto Boar. Whilst we keep pushing those deer in. And at this point, if you've only got the one deer, you may start thinking about. Um, wanting to send what well, you'll, you'll stop thinking about it you won't necessarily do it at this point but send an existing manager to get the second boar in but uh, you should be okay if you've got this uh, second deer in you shouldn't need to do it just yet so the next manager to come out is going to go and make a house uh, near the berries and then the mill and then we're going to send three more villagers on to boar so it's actually going to be the first one of these boar villagers uh, that's going to lure the second boar in or elephant um, just because we've got enough food there with the uh, two deer to make sure we're not going to be standing about twiddling our thumbs, not doing anything. So uh, we should be absolutely fine there. So just two more to come out on board and then we're good to go uh, for our final villager. That's final boar in, final deer in, and we can go around and perhaps do some scouting now. So we've got a hundred. Uh, wood finally so we can drop that mill where's that villager going come back drop the mill there we go and uh, our final villager is going to go over to the wood line so we're going to have three on wood everything else on food uh, and then loom's going to come in and um, we'll find that we need to just garrison these villages just to make sure we've got all the food that we need uh, should have plenty i think we'll end up with about 550 by the time we've garrisoned those in so all good just going to come in in a second there we go quick garrison drop off and click up so now we've clicked up we're going to move um, four from the sheep to the stragglers three from the sheep to the main wood line and one from the sheep is going to go and make a house in the barracks don't lose your scout like I just did there noob what a noob <laughs> um, so still got plenty of sheep left so we should be able to keep maintaining that uh, food production. What we'll find with this build as well is when we're just about to hit the castle age, or feudal age, sorry, we'll put those straggler villages back onto sheep. So it's quite important that we do that because we're going to need um, all the food, basically. It's perhaps a little bit tight in, in terms of being able to maintain constant uh, scout production if we don't put them all back on, um, back on food. So we just need to have enough so we can get the stable down as soon as we've got that put them back on the sheet so ask yourself this question Are you not entertained? and if the answer is yes then do please consider subscribing to the channel we've got a uh, goal of 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year uh, so don't miss out on any uh, further build orders that will be coming your way so um, we're now in the fuel age we're going to get the stable down and the first five villages that come out are going to go on to the berries like so 
and then we're just going to keep on maintaining the villager production get the scouts out that village is going to just make houses and wall up so we are going to get some walls down as well so to speed that up a little bit actually and uh, we did get double bit axe as well so we've got double bit axe in and then now we've got or once we've got six on the berries we're going to send another two to wood you might want to send three to wood instead of two just to make sure you've got enough um, your wood coming in but um, at this point we're just going to start filtering villages off of the sheep and start adding uh, farms you could even take a couple of sheep of, at this point to be honest and put them on straggler trees just to help um, get those farms down a bit a bit quicker but that is pretty much it we should be able to keep maintaining constant scout production at this point we're going to send them forward now but loads of food in the bank so um, that is it if you do uh, enjoy the video do give it a like and consider subscribing for more Age of Empires 2 build orders. Help us reach that 10,000 goal and I'll see you on the next one.